sweet ingredients prepared with love. A perfect combination like you and Pick and Pay. We're cooking with a team from Fair Lady this morning and uh, learning how to make... A cake. A cake, yes. Because it is the 29th That's of right. February. This day only comes around every four years, so we thought we'd celebrate. I'm busy whisking the eggs here. I don't even know if I'm doing a good job. You're doing a fantastic job. Yes. Tell us what really, ingredients really we need for this recipe. All right. Well, this is essentially a dairy-free cake. So we're starting with oil, mm -hmm. eggs, a little bit of orange flavoring, flour, sugar, mm -hmm. Caster sugar, sugar, baking powder, and the egg whites. The egg whites. Right. Okay. Where do we get okay. started? We, first of all, we put the egg yolks, which have been separated, mm -hmm. into the bowl. We add the oil, just like that. And this is a great recipe for people who are dairy intolerant. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes, because the oil, essentially, and the pick and pay mango, orange, peach, and fruit juice blend smoothie is replacing the milk products mm -hmm. in the cake. So, yes, for people who are... Um, lactose intolerant for children. It's a fantastic cake. Look, barring the topping we're going to put on later. Yes, but you can you can alternate your topping. Exactly. You yeah. can put jam on, you can have a, a glacé icing. There's a lot of things you can you do. Just put a, a, an orange essence on there. Yes, it just gives it a bit of a zing, an extra zing. Yes, I'll right. keep whisking these okay, egg whites. So what you do is you mix together the egg yolks. Yes. And then what I like to do is start adding the dry ingredients. Mm. So we add half the sugar, this is the Demerara sugar, half the caster sugar, Yes. half the flour. It's better to add half ingredients like this because it just gives the batter a little bit of time to absorb it. Half the baking powder. Because I'm one of those people, I just chuck well, it you, all in. You can, and of course, half of our smoothie. Now, I, I want to ask you about the smoothie. This if you can pay 100% yes. smoothie won uh, a Fair Lady Consumer Award. That's correct. It won the Fair Lady um, Consumer Awards in the health drink category. Um, and Fair Lady has the Consumer Awards every year. Mm. They are calling for nominations this year. And basically what it is, is we find, um, well, the these products are nominated by retailers like Pick and Pay, and we find the best product on shelf so for this our is readers. An award-winning juice. It is, yes. and we have a panel of very discerning judges, mm. including our editor Susie Brokenshaw and some of the editorial staff. And this product won because it has amazing features. Mm. It's 100% fruit juice, very good value for money, yeah. and the taste and texture is fantastic. All right, and also okay. today we're using it as an ingredient. Yes, yeah. that's a great All idea. Right. Let me finish off. So, okay. so the rest of the dry ingredients go in. There we go. This is how I cook. I just throw the bowls in the bowls. Okay. The rest yes. of the smoothie in we go. I'm gonna clean up for you, yeah, because I know we're gonna you. need some more space shortly. All right. And also, I mean, you don't have to hand mix this. You can put it in your, mm. you know, in your. Um, food mixer or use an electric... You're just trying to show off and how good you are in the kitchen. <laughs> hand I've done this since <laughs> cooking school. Oh, so we're putting you to a test today. <laughs> yeah. Right, so when mm. you have the batter, it's quite a thick batter. Mm. You take the egg whites, which you very kindly have beaten yes. up for me, and then you fold them fold them into okay. the batter. I'm going to give this over to you because we've got a All keyword right. today because I know a lot of people would like the ingredients for this cake. Keyword today, cake. C A. K E cake to 33728 and you know what they get their recipe the recipe list ingredients list sent straight to their mobile phone fantastic okay what yes. do I do all right in you go uh, all of it or just a little bit yeah, you can put it all in and it's always best to fold it in with a metal spoon why a metal spoon I often use a wooden spoon no the metal spoon has a better folding oh, action okay. I feel yeah and it it doesn't react in any way with the egg white so in see you we go. learn something new every day <laughs> And this also adds a lightness to the mm. batter, which makes it and really delicious and light. Right, so that's it really. And then it gets poured into two cake sandwich mm -hmm. tins, which we've pre-prepared, into the oven, 180 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay. And that's These it. These are cake tins. That's your cake tins. But we're, gonna, we're not going to do that now, because I no. know you want to show us how to make the... Should right. I stir that and you make our, our icing? Thank you, Yes. Right, so these are... We, put, we made them earlier. Which we made earlier. Yes. Right. So you see they come out a lovely golden brown colour. And that's the Demerara sugar, which mm. I like to use. 
So, first of all, take a little bit of jam. And you can use any jam for this. It doesn't yeah. have to be a raspberry jam. Um, I'm a big strawberry jam fan. Which one is this? This is raspberry. Yeah. And also, you know, it can just um, correlate with whatever berries you're going to put mm. on top. It doesn't have to be... Or the unhealthy option. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Kia's favourite. <laughs> you can put chocolate on. You can put anything on, actually. You don't have to... You're limited by your imagination. No, no, of course. <laughs> now, we've got Denise on the line from Orkney. How's Orkney this morning, Denise? Oh, it's getting a bit rainy, yeah? It looks like um, I've got a washing line full of washing, but I think I have to get it off with a dash of a spoon. But before you do that, tell us, what's your favourite cake? I love chocolate cake. So do I. I absolutely love chocolate cake. Chocolate cake, whipped cream with caramel. And it's my birthday on Sunday. I'll be 51, a granny of four, and a very proud granny. And I am definitely going to bake myself <laughs> one. <laughs> well, happy birthday, and remember to send the recipe uh, if you want the ingredients, the word cake, to 33728, all the way from Orkney, turning 51 wow. on Sunday. Mm. Thank you so much for Enjoy the call. Enjoy your birthday. Yes, and now we've got a great cake recipe that you can make. Absolutely. There we go. Move that right. out of the way so we can see. So, obviously you wait for your cakes to, to cool, cool completely. down, because otherwise yes. you're going to have a drippy... I've done this before when I was a kid. My first cake. Yeah. I was so excited to decorate and it just dripped icing everywhere. It's quite delicious too though. You know, it's as, so a, as a kid you can have fun like that. <laughs> so what I like to do is put the toppings on separately mm. because if you put it on top, the whole thing is going to squish. Cool. Yes. Yeah. So jam first, some cream, then for the top layer, some cream, mm -hmm. and then on we go with the berries. Yeah, yeah let's do this. And you know, it's, it's berry season at the moment and we're so spoiled for berries. Mm. Awesome. That's my favourite part because I get to eat the berries. Let me do some work. <laughs> okay. And just, just what I just yeah, just free, however you like to do it. Just sprinkle. And I mean, look, you can also put berries on this layer. Mm. You not? <gasps> this is a um, beautiful looking cake. Look at the colours. And the nice thing about mm. the berries are they're full of antioxidants. Yes, they're very good for you. So you're kind of mixing a, a little bit of a naughty. With the cake, with, a little bit with of some nice. more healthy, <laughs> nice. You can put cherries on as well. You can. Mm. Cape gooseberries, anything that's really. I see. And pick and pay. Yesterday, I picked up a, a, a tin of a, a container of gooseberries in season. Yes, they are, and they are absolutely delicious, and they add a nice tartness to mm. the cake. And then dusting with a little bit of icing sugar. Wow. And I mean, how simple is how that? How easy was this? You can make mm. it home in, and it took us, okay, <laughs> how long do we bake the cake for? 30 minutes. You see? Yeah. So an hour max, if even, to make a gorgeous looking cake like this. I mean, this will impress ooh, anybody. Anyone. The Lock and Wilson <laughs> might be impressed with this. Here we go. Here's Here a dish cloth for you. you. I always so that's do that. a bit Look generous, my cream. This is. <laughs> this is what we made today. You can also go to our website, expressoshow.com. Lovely cooking with you. Thank, Thank you, you Lisa. so much. My pleasure. And it's over to Kat next. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.